People were like, oh yeah, you were the DJ that played for my friend's birthday or you played at that house party. It wasn't problematic. It wasn't, it wasn't planned to be a something. No one's used that. No one's made a mix CD. No one's a team called that. No one's an artist called that. My target, definitely 100% Miami Carnival. I definitely want to be the main, one of the main known DJs in Miami Carnival on the truck doing my thing. I think that would be a high element for me and if I'm a, a regular annual DJ. My island has influenced me the most. When I started doing soca, before I used to do it as part time as well as bashment because obviously where I'm from, South London is a bashment orientated place. Grenada itself influenced me hard into soca before I knew about all the other islands and supported the other islands. It's always and forever will be Grenada first. As long as all the artists bring out all the nice bangers, Grenada will always be on top for me. How are we got that? You've got even Trinidad people talking about Jab Jab. That's mad. Miami talking about Jab Jab. Long time ago, it wasn't even like that. They didn't even know about Jab Jab. They didn't even know about Grenada that did power soca like that. It was a struggle just to get the, just to get the, the music up there. Now we've got people playing the music, getting dubs, calling the artists to come down, calling the certain DJs to come down that are from Grenada or from here that represent Grenada, all them things there. They all come down for them kind of things there. So to me, it will always from the beginning, it will always be the heart of whenever I play or whenever I think of soul card, the heart will always be with it. They call us small country, but we big. We big! I don't have fans, I don't really tell anybody, yeah, you're a fan or you're my fan. Me personally, if anyone wants to support me, I'll say they're supporters because they support the movement. They're not a fan, they don't have to do it, they want to do it. So I would say that they're a supporter. I'm doing this at this event, or I'm doing my radio show on Saturdays. UK crew, three to five, American crew, 10 to 12, Caribbean, and so on. Forward it to their bedrooms and thing. Let their bedrooms lock in, or let their bedrooms turn up in the dance, and you see how I do. Got my little section where the people them are at, yeah. Enjoy DJ Maxstar. Have you heard DJ Maxstar? If you haven't heard DJ Maxstar now, there's a CD, mix CD, or you can go on SoundCloud DJ Maxstar, you can go on YouTube DJ Maxstar, you can go on Facebook Maxstar Problematic, you can ask any of the team them, Team Problematic, all of them crew there, they will have told you from early how the team is going on. <laughs> As I did a barbecue a couple of weeks ago, I had people there that I know from a long time, but I don't personally have them on contacts and all them kind of things there, so. I wouldn't be able to promote the barbecue itself. Once I heard DJ Max start, they were like, rah, I know DJ Max. So DJ Max was cool, DJ Max, so I know once he plays his things, I'm gonna enjoy myself. I like people that support, regardless. They don't even sometimes have to turn up, but they can say to me, look, I might not turn up to this event, but I can see what you're trying to do. Build up a spirit for the generation of our age. I'm here because I know exactly how you're gonna run your set. I know exactly how you're gonna do your team. That's what I like. I like people like that. Those there are my supporters. Those are what I call my supporters.
right now is the grinding scene. You're gonna see people that don't support you, they will not push you. People there that will that will come on your Insta, come on your Facebook, come on your Twitter and be like, yeah, 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 and they don't turn up. Or yeah, 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 I support that, don't support it. All them kind of things there, that is the grinding. That's what you call the grinding time. Once you pass through that stage, then you get to another stage where you gotta be like, right, this is, this is your amount of people and this is the people that support whatever you're doing and these are the DJs that support whatever you're doing. These are the DJs that work with you and push whatever you're doing to support themselves as well. Because at the end of the day, it's not a one person thing. Everybody has to push it together. Even the DJs getting promotion, even the promoters getting promotion, the event itself is getting promotion. All of that, it works, it makes sense. If you put all of that, if the new generation understand that putting together, then I mean, there's no limits, there's no limits, there's no limits at all. But if you all just sat down and said, boom, let's do an event, put this club. We have this club for this time to that time. Take these tickets, take these tickets, take these tickets, take these tickets. When you finish and bring it back, you share it out equally. Everybody's happy, everybody's vibes and enjoying themselves and everything. Once everyone does that, I mean, why can't you not go on again? That's effort. If you put effort in, effort comes back out. And then once you do a dance, you've got people that hear about you all the way in, in wherever you played and you come back to your hometown and they will come for you. They will come for It's not just doing your event in, in England for them to come for you. It doesn't make sense. You're just limiting yourself. If you're limiting yourself, you're not going to go far. Uncle boy, look. Uncle! <laughs> So the maddest thing right now, when you're doing, when, whenever you're doing your set, is plugging your controller with other with other mix CDs and and CDJs. That is hard. That is the hardest thing because they're set up. They don't think about any new DJs that come with their controller or whatever the case is. It's it's so hard. I don't even think about the music to be the hardest. I think about setting up the controller. I think that's crucial. If I don't set up the controller before I play my thing, that's a big issue. Anything could go on. Anything could go wrong. Anything could go on and go wrong. Once I get that set up and I hear that I can play, then we're in business. Before that, it's a big problem. It's mad. Right now, all DJs are doing controllers. Some DJs don't even know yet. They, they play, they're messing around with CDJs. They don't even know what's going on. But when they get the controller, they know that this is it's your thing. So you know it's going to work. When you connect it up, it's gonna work. CDJs, you don't even know what's going on. You don't know what the last DJ did because you weren't there. So the last DJ went there to own up and say, boom, you can't use those because they don't work. You have to bring your own stuff. I bring my own stuff regardless because I know my thing work. But it's all about the space. Certain DJs are intimidated by it. They be like, oh, because you got your own stuff, oh, I can't move this, or I can't do that, and blah, 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 blah. Me personally, I ignore that. I don't have that. You've done your thing, people know you for you. I'm still getting there. So I'm still trying to grind for the people of my generation and the generation younger than me. At the end of the day, I'm trying to run a thing. I'm trying to run a thing, bruv. I think um, an early set is very imperative. I think all the DJs that do an early set, I personally would say, DJ Maxwell would personally say, they are the MVP of the night. I know for a fact, if I reach a dance at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and I heard the early set and I'll be like, it's a piece of I'm not gonna reach. If those people that do early set can motivate the people inside the dance and do a madness throughout, throughout the whole, and then the rest of the DJs then cover what that DJ did perform and top it up, and then the next DJ after that top that up, that's how you have a night, that's how you have a good night. 11 or 12, I would say, those are the main priorities. That's how you keep hold of the, the amount of people that you have already that come in into a dance. You have got a crowd. That is your crowd. The rest that come after that, those are the ones supporting that crowd. If you have that logic and mentality of that vibes, then from there, that's it. You've got the party on lock. If it's a soccer event, I know I'm playing 12 o'clock, I can play some soccer 
and I can get the party collective in a section where they will enjoy themselves. I've got two segments. I've got a groovy segment and I've got a power segment. Literally, think about groovy music. I think about all different islands that I have on my laptop. What I can play the quickest. Whatever genre I can play the quickest in soccer scene. I will, I will put that up to play. If I run a song and a deep, and the crowd is enjoying themselves, I don't have to stress. But if I run a song and the, and the people don't know what I'm playing, then I have to run the next song straight away because they don't know what I'm playing. So I have to play what they know what I'm playing and then introduce something that they don't know for them to know. That's the only way they're gonna know. But some DJs don't do it like that. Personally, I do that person. I will bang a song, some people don't know, I let it run, let them understand it, let them enjoy it. Then I run a song that they enjoy and blend in. Hey, Do you know what? I left Arsenal because I left South. I left South to branch out. Like all the DJs in South that do dancehall, they just limit themselves to South. I can't do that. I'm always been a branch out, like from school. Like I've always had the one squad, but then I branch out to other squads. And I'm in a collective where a lot of people. I'm surrounded by a lot of people, so I don't really stick to one section and that's it. I like to branch and go where I'm going. Like even sometimes I get bookings and it's not even in London. Some people that's long. They hear, oh, that's long, you know. But for me, that's a, that's adventure. Right there, I'm road trip. Road trip, grab your drink and thing and you're off. You know they once say you're off. Like later on I'm going to Liverpool in two weeks. Mad. And then four weeks later I'm going to Manchester. And then I'm coming back down for nothing or carnival. You can't stay in one section. South South itself is, is minimal. It's minimal. London is a next thing. You need to get out of there. Get out of there, branch out, experience what you're doing, push out soca with it. If you push out soca with it, then you go far with it. Like so called, it's now being pushed like to a limit where it's hard. You've got some dancehall people that are just like, oh, I like soca now because the soca I can relate to it, I can dance to it, and I can enjoy myself. Before soca people, they never gave it a chance. They never, they never was like, oh, let me just sit down and listen to soca. They never wanted to do that. But now, now it's, now it's like, oh, I wanna, I wanna be about soca now. I wanna, I wanna enjoy soca. I wanna vibes to soca. All these kind of things. There. If we keep that going and keep the vibes going. Dancehall, dancehall to me personally is dying already. You got like three artists. I mean, everybody. When I ask people, tell me top five. No one can tell me top five right now. I can only tell you, Alkaline Vibes and Popcorn. Soca's coming through, man. Soca. All yeah. the people them that like dancehall, all them things there. There's real Jamaican people that really love dancehall, all them things there. But when they hear soca, they want to vibes and enjoy themselves. That's what it is. Cause we're mixing with everything. We're mixing with Afro beats now. We're mixing with dancehall now. We're house. Everything, even house itself. We're, we're, we're mixing too much. You can't fight. It's soca now. It's really soca now. I can bet you twenty pound right now. Yeah, you can go in the dance. A DJ will play a soca song without even knowing it. Mm -hmm. He will think it's dancehall, but it's really soca. You know, Matt started doing this thing for a minute now, but you know he's one of the best ones out here. Anyway. One of the realest ones out here, anyway. Like, he's good, better than most of them, anyway. I can tell you that from, from, from real life, man. I tell you, it's better. Then watch, you see when he comes on? Problems. Last year, problems. Year before that, problems. This year, it's been worse. Don't worry about it. Let me. There's obviously going to be more things, more things to be done. You know? More events. More stuff. Problematic, you'll know about it. Give it some time, because you'll know, you know about it. Let me. I know. I think what's the change obviously is communications with all the DJs. I think definitely that should change. London crew, if all London people came together, we would make a big difference. What we need to do, change it up, bring all the new the new DJs, all the young bucks, all, all the ones that just wake up yesterday and say, yeah, I want to try to be a DJ, all them things there, they try to mix the thing up, they do their mix CD, all the ones that are grafting, all the ones that are grafting. I'm not going to say all the new DJs because some people don't graft, they're lazy, but all the ones that are grafting and they're trying to push themselves, when I was pushing myself, nobody, no one didn't want to put me on there. I had to force my way up there. I just do what I have to do and I play the music what DJs are afraid to play. If you're elder, 
if you've been doing whatever business, bashment, R&B, rap, soca, house, garage, whatever it is that you do, if you are the type of person that's been there for years, you need to help push the young generation because when you retire, you need somebody that needs to come and carry on the whole genre. The genre don't die when you've retired. From day one, I already clocked. Like, people come and go with it. Like, you're hot topic for a moment. You do your thing, people go, oh yeah, 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 I like that. You do, you do, and you mash up, you mash up. That dance, that dance, you're hot topic. You're hot topic for whatever you do next.